Good morning, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. Just here to take you through a travel journal that I've completed. It is sort of aeroplane themed, but there's general travel elements all the way through it. Um, it's the second one that I have made. The first one was a custom order, and true to my form, I always make way too many pages and too many signatures, so I turned the other two signatures into this journal. Um, so there is a pink fabric which has got buses and planes on it and different other suitcases. Um, and I've backed it with or got my um, metal corners that I love using. Um, it measures 17 centimetres wide, 25 tall, and it's got a six and a half centimetre wide spine. And with the two signatures sewn in with a pink thread. Um, we've got the inside of a flybys envelope here, so you can see the flybys writing on there. I thought that was interesting. This graphic I put together um, myself, and there's just some scrapbook uh, draw liner actually. This is a draw liner um, that I've used there. So this one has many, many vintage book pages and most of the pockets have been done with a clear acetate so that you could see what's in the actual pocket. Um, I've done a two layered pocket here, which has um, been cut in a cloud shape. So that gives you that cloud effect. I just thought that was something different. We've got a um, picture of the Concord here. This is um, on very vintage um, scrapbook paper from the uh, late 1800s. And this image is from the, say the 19, Mm, I can't remember but yeah it's definitely like over 40 years old and just some scrapbooking paper tag there so this is a vintage book this is one of the end papers of the book we've got a clear acetate pocket with a image there that's been backed and just some stickers there was a sticker pack I got from Kmart I think so there are some little stickers on all of the different pockets more vintage plain books coffee dyed this was paper that I've um, dyed with a spray rip dye paper so rip dye and then I've gone over with big bubble wrap and white spray paint and put these um, cloud kind of like is what my effect was going for with those I make clouds a vintage um, or well, ancient kind of map image there um, a photo album pocket that I've used as a sewn down pocket for storing ephemera uh, vintage kids book that one more plain related images. Um, a clear acetate pocket there with the friends. Again, that's onto that vintage scra um, scrapbook paper. Um, fabric, so it's got aeroplanes on it and the word travel. Um, another end paper. Um, a clear CD pocket that's a stickable one and a vintage book image there. Most of the images are lined with that um, late 1800s scrapbook paper. Um, a printable here with a printable envelope which has been sewn um, and there is um, some cards in there. Certificate paper, vintage book pages, coffee dyed, another clear one with captured moments and a blueprint of a, an aeroplane there. A CD pocket. With a journal card there yeah so so this is the other side of the kids book page and i liked it because it had the world globe there another um, photo album pocket that's been sewn down another clear pocket this was actually taken from um it's thicker than your average plastic document sleeves but it's not completely clear like it's a bit translucent i guess little plain stickers now, this is just a big flip out that one there raffles hotel different touristy things there more plain pages envelope with some bits in there um, an actual gift card or greeting card with the map on it another CD flip out so these travel stories cards have uh, like I guess it's like things you could do while you're traveling so it's got a question on the back of it and everyone has to give their stories or examples so it's quite interesting an um, airmail envelope another clear pocket with a couple of pieces in it there the second yes 
yeah so if you know someone who likes airplanes or definitely likes travel in general this would be a good journal for them to have to document um, their journeys or what they get up to and in the back we've got another cloud pocket Another big journal spot there with another clear pocket and a little journal card at the back. So loads of writing space, loads to add photos and different things to. And there is a lot of expansion room. Uh, this fabric here was a men's shirt that I've used for the liner of the spine. So lots of space to add and make it your own. Awesome. Thanks very much. You'll find this on Etsy later on. Thank you.